Hello everybody, this is Carl out at Manu Farms, and this is Hope, my daughter, and we are here to talk to you today about our crazy project, the off-grid homestead village that we are trying to form with our family. Um, I'm here to answer as many questions as I can and just give you a basic idea of why we're doing it. To start with, we would want to do this no matter what. We've always wanted to do this. It's always been a daydream of ours to go off and live off the grid somewhere and to be self-sustainable and grow as much food as we possibly can. But why are we doing it at this piece of land and why are we doing it at this time? It's a little more to do with the city of Eureka. We currently and for five years have been living together communally in our church and using a community garden. Now the city says we can't live there. They say that it's a commercial building and we're not allowed to live within it. We don't want to stay and fight them and just continue the battle with them. So we are going to go off grid. We're going to move out in the middle of the wilderness. And that's why we're doing it now in the middle of, towards the beginning of winter instead of in the springtime when it would be a good idea to do it. Answer some questions real quick about the property. Number one, there is a power pole to the property. That doesn't mean we're going to hook up to it necessarily, but we might for the first winter just to be safe. Two, they have no real water source on the property. We are looking into alternative osmosis from the air means and other things like that. Um, let's see. Three, there is light trees, not very many. It is a desert-like area, and it's flat ground. Um, there is 12 miles away a small town, and 32 miles away a large city that has a Costco, an airport, uh, a hospital, and everything else you could ever want. We are going to document every single step of the way. We're going to show you the mistakes we make. We're going to show you the drama our family has. We're going to show you... The good times, the bad times, the happy times, the children wanting to run off camera at times, you know, all the fun things. Uh, every step of the way, so stick with us. Not only are we going to document this and make an actual hour-long documentary in the end or so, but we are going to do every person who comes out to the farm or comes out to the village and starts this project with us is going to have to record almost a vlog type of situation every day on a private channel that you'll get to learn all about us and about each single person and see how we progress in this crazy adventure of ours. Now, a few more questions or a few more statements real quick. There's below us, there will be below this video there'll be some links to a GoFundMe site where if you want to you can help fund the project so that we can get better equipment. We can do this without your funding, true. But that doesn't mean we're going to be living nice or comfortably without your funding. We need some help in getting better living arrangements, in getting better solar panel equipment, in getting better water purification equipment, things like that. And also better filming equipment so I sound better and aren't so, you know, out of focus and things like that. Um, and other than that, so please, if you can, donate. We also have five open slots if you donate. Uh, I believe it's thousand dollars no I believe it's if you donate five thousand dollars I can't remember look it down there it's either a thousand dollars or five thousand dollars that we'll just I know for five thousand dollars we have one acre we're just willing to give you if you donate us five thousand dollars we'll give you five one acre you can come build your survival shelter there you can come move out there you can do whatever you want to do um, otherwise we have ten family unit slots open for us five slots that we're hoping for people who can donate at least a thousand dollars and then we have five slots for people who have skills. I don't care if you're broke. If you have a skill we need, we don't care about money. The reason we're getting off the grid is because we don't like money. We want to live free. So if you have a skill, a talent, a something, that whether that's playing music, whether that's doctoring skills, carpenter skills, solar power skills, any one of these skills, message us. There's some questions that we'll ask you. You ask us questions about us. You learn about us from the documentary. And maybe you can come join us on the farm. we got five open slots for families. That can be, and we consider family. Not everybody here that's going with us. Everyone here that's going with us is our family. But not everyone here is blood related. So if you're two or three best friends sitting on our couch right now going, man, I wish I could live off grid somewhere. 
and you've got some talents or skills or some physical laboring hands, because you know a lot of our members are elderly or disabled, and so we're going to need some people to help just move stuff and physically put the earth to work, you know, and that understands that the elder members and things can't do that, but yet they still are part of that community. Because we're three generations going off on this trip. Little tiny kids all the way up to four, all the way up to 68. So join with us.